What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back at it again with another sneaker video. Today, we're talking about some more heat, new release dates, new images. Stick around, watch it all the way to the end, and make sure you hit that like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. Without further ado, let's jump into these sneakers, you dig? First off, let's talk about a new release date. The Air Jordan 3 Lucky Green has been pushed back to May 18th. Not exactly sure why, but that is the new release date, May 18th. Retailing still for 200 bucks. Everything else about the shoe is exactly the same as we've seen before. White leather base with elephant print overlays with green accents. The overall colorway is white, lucky green, varsity red, salmon gray, and a little bit of that sale in the midsole. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this shoe. Is this something that you guys will be adding to your collection? Next up on April 11th, dropping for a retail of 115 bucks, the Nike Dunk Mid Panda. Nike seen us get the highs, the lows, people like them. So they figure why not drop a mid? Let me know if this is something you will be adding to your collection. I mean, this looks a lot like the other two. There's a little bit of differences. This one is white black with the cell color scheme. These also come constructed with a canvas base with leather swooshes and heels. You have mesh tongues and lining. Then you have the speckled midsole with the black rubber outsole. I don't know, man. Are you guys a fan of these mids or should they just left it alone? Give me your thoughts and opinions on that in the comments below. Next up, we got a silhouette that I'm looking forward to seeing. I know the different colorways is really gonna make this shoe. This one's dropping April 20th for a retail price of 110 bucks. The Cosmic Unity 3 in the Phantom colorway. Medium soft pink, bright cactus, and light bone are added to the color scheme. These are definitely different looking type of basketball shoes. They come with a mix of materials, detail with embroidery throughout. Definitely looking forward to seeing what other colorways they come with. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to the Cosmic Unity 3. Give me your feedback in the comments below. Next up, we're gonna talk about the KD15. Man, this is the What The Colorway, dropping for a retail price of 160 bucks, so $10 more than normal retail. This by far is one of the best colorways to ever drop for the KD15, in my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this overall. This comes in action grape, white, black, and pink foam. Of course, as you can see, it has a mix of elements taken from pretty much all the past KD15s with different prints and materials. It features a multi-layer mesh upper with enhanced ventilation. These are fire. Let me know what your favorite part of this KD-15 is. This KD-15 features floating glow-in-the-dark TPU wings and a molded heel for Achilles support. You have the full-length air strobe zoom technology that they use for the KD-15s. You have Nike KD logos on the tongue and insoles with easy embroidery on the pull tab. And then finally, you have his old number seven on the lower heels to complete the shoe. Overall, I think this is by far the best KD-15. I see myself grabbing a pair Will you pick up a pair or are these an easy pass? Next up, also dropping April 11th for a retail price of 120 bucks. We have the Nike Dunk Low Sets of Bun. Now these are crazy. I've seen some images of these already online. They look a lot better in person. Let me know what you guys think about this overall colorway. Sets of Bun, also referenced as a bean throwing festival, is celebrated on the day before the beginning of the spring in the old calendar in Japan. These are a dope feature. I like the details of them. This comes in a light brown base paired with khaki and dark brown over Lays. You have purple accents on the swooshes, lining, tongues, and a demon embroidery on the lateral heel. I like the images of this shoe. I want to see what they look like in person. From videos I've seen, they do look fire. You have the white midsole with a semi-translucent outsole. Overall, give me your thoughts and opinions on this Nike Dunk Low. Next up, we have a Nike Dunk Low Premium Burgundy Crush retailing for $120, and it should be on Nike.com within the next few weeks. This right here is premium, so it's going to have better materials. It comes in burgundy crush, plum eclipse, platinum tint for the color scheme. As you can see, this has a whole burgundy upper, which I'm excited about. You have some embroidery heel tabs. You have waxed laces. You have the burgundy midsole and the light color rubber outsole. Let me know what you guys think about this burgundy crush colorway. Sticking with the Nike Dunk Low, we have another premium colorway in the oil green, retailing for 120 bucks as well. Not mad at this color scheme at all. Give me your thoughts. Oil green. Olive Aura and Phantom is a color scheme. This comes constructed in a denim and canvas base with suede overlays and leather swooshes and heels. The entire upper comes in that oil green colorway with having the branding on the tongues, labels, insoles, and embroidery heel tabs. You also have wax laces with the green midsole and the light color rubber outsole. Let me know what you guys think about the oil green Nike Dunk Low Premium. Next up, we have a new colorway of the Nike Vapor Max 23 Flyknit in the pale vanilla, retailing for 210 bucks dropping May 18th. Pale Vanilla, Sea Coral, Sail, and Sesame is the color scheme. This offering of the Vapor Max 23 features the 
traditional fly knit build using recycled materials. Then you have Nike's pinwheel logo stamped on it to make sure you guys know it's from those recycled materials. This features swoosh logos on the sides and lateral forefoot on the full length Vapor Max sole unit. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Vapor Max 2023 and what are your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, we have two colorways of the New Balance 1906R dropping April 3rd for a retail price of $150. Both of these colorways are pretty dope. You have the gray mesh upper with leather overlays and red accents on one colorway. Then the other one is pretty much black with metallic silver accents. Let me know of the two New Balance 1906, which colorway do you guys like the most? Of course, these feature the in-lock system, which stabilizes the lateral while the TPU heel counter adds support. Let me know what you guys think about these New Balance 1906s and how do they compare to the other silhouettes that are out on the market. Market. Next up, dropping this summer for a retail price of 190 bucks, the Nike Air Zoom Generation Cork Purple. Now this colorway is definitely fire. Of course, LeBron most recently wore these in 2018 at the Summer League. Now a player exclusive will be finally available for us in 2023, celebrating the 20th year of this sneaker. All court purple upper with the suede, premium all suede. Let me know if you guys are feeling this or not. Also features a semi-translucent outsole, comes in a special box, and you get extra lacing, but I don't think there will be lace swapping necessary, but you just never know. Overall, these are a 10 out of 10 to me. Might be another shoe I might have to grab. That all purple suede is just something that's sticking to me. Give me your thoughts, of course, in the comment section. Next up, we have the Nike Air Max 1 Crep in a light bone colorway, dropping for a retail price of 160 bucks. This Air Max 1 will feature premium materials such as mesh, leather, suede, and canvas. Light bone, pale vanilla, and cell is the color scheme. Of course, you will have the cell base with the light bone overlays, along with some light blue color accents. You have the patchwork on the canvas mud guards black branding on the tongues embroidery heels and insoles with pale vanilla textile on the swooshes and midsole then you have a gum crepe rubber outsole to complete the shoe overall this air max one looks very earthy and spring vibes give me your thoughts about this one in the comments below next up we got some secret news about a new union air jordan one collab based on their rapport is this something you're looking forward to let me know no official images but it's supposed to drop later in august for a retail price of 200 bucks the shoe is supposed to come in sale wolf gray muslin Pell Vanilla, you have a green in there along with some University Gold hints. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Union and Jordan collabs and based on their track record, is this something that you're excited about? If you are excited about that, then maybe you might be excited about this. The Jordan MVP Black Royal dropping for a retail price of 160 bucks. Of course, the Jordan MVP 678 takes elements from the Air Jordan 6, 7, and 8 by the title. And of course, designed by Tinker Hatfield. This represents the shoe that Jordan wore during his first three-peat from 91 and 93. Let me know if you guys are feeling the colorway. You have the black Nubuck upper with royal blue contrasting accents. Notable details that stand out are things like the tongue, the TPU paint strokes, the midsole, the icy translucent outsole. You have the Jumpman embroidery on the lateral heel. Then you have, of course, the Nike Air branding on the back of the shoe. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the 678 or is this something that just shouldn't have been made. Next up, let's talk about the Nike Air Max 1 Aquatone, retailing for 150 bucks. This shoe gives me spring summer vibes all day. Coming in the mix of mesh, suede, and leather materials, it features the white mesh base with gray suede overlays. You have the Aquatone leather swooshes, mud guard as well. I like the Nike branding appearing on the tongue, labels and insoles. You have embroidered heels. I like the black rubber outsole to complete the shoe. Overall, let me know if you guys would like this Air Max one in your collection or is it an easy pass. Next, we have some information on the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined. Now it will be dropping March of 2024. Set retail price is about 225. I'm curious to see if that's gonna hold or if it's gonna go up to 250. Originally dropped in 89, known as the Black Cement or Air Jordan 4 Bread. It also resurfaced in 2019. Now we get it in 2024. Let me know if you guys are picking this up. How much are you guys looking forward to this shoe? Coming in that Summit White, black cement gray and fire red color scheme no official images of what the new one will look like but expected to be aged just like the reimagines have been in the past give me your thoughts is this something you guys will be picking up in 2024 next up we have official images of the air jordan one high og spidey verse dropping may 20th for a retail price of 200 bucks after celebrating marvel spider-man enter the spidey verse movie in 2018 jordan brand will be releasing another special edition air jordan one og inspired by the 
upcoming Spider-Man movie across the Spideyverse film hitting theaters June 2nd, 2023. This of course comes with the Chicago style color blocking of universally red, black, and white. It features various tones and geometrical shapes nodding to miles traveling through the Spidey universe. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. You have the black leather swooshes and collar atop the red translucent or semi-translucent outsole. The shoe looks like it's going to be better on pictures than in person, but I'm, you know, I just want to see what they look like. Give me your thoughts. Are you guys looking forward to the shoe? Next up, we have a women's exclusive Nike Air Max 1 dropping April 13th for a retail price of 118 bucks. This right here features a mix of leather, suede, corduroy, and mesh fabrics. The shoe comes dressed with a pastel hues, perfect for summer months. Some of the key details include leopard print along the collars, tiger print on the insoles. You have embroidered paisley-like print along the toe box. You have an aged midsole with a black rubber outsole. Give me your thoughts and opinions on this Air Max 1. Next up, also dropping April 13th for a retail price of $125. It's another women's exclusive, but this is the Air Force 1 Low. Very similar to the Air Max 1 we just talked about. Coming in the blue, off near, arctic orange, teal tint, tour yellow, and crinton tint color scheme. This comes with a mix of materials and prints used throughout the whole upper. I'm a big fan of the animal prints on the heels. You have insoles and extra laces for this shoe too then of course you have that air force one rubber outsole that looks pretty much aged give me your thoughts and opinions on this or the air max one are you feeling either one or are they both trash let me know your thoughts in the comments below next up we have a few air jordan one mids that i want to talk about that stand out coming in men's pairs as well as grade school first we have the air jordan one mid blueberry as you can see it has a white leather base with the blueberry overlays i'm a big fan of this colorway it looks like it's looking better in person than it is in the picture of course mids are always iffy when it comes to the materials let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway but it's dropping at the perfect time definitely give me summer or spring vibes next air jordan one mid i want to talk about also comes in men's gray school sizing the black university blue color scheme is just something else on here anytime you put university blue on an air jordan for the most part it works for me let me know what you guys think about that of course it has the black base with the university blue overlays and a white midsole with the university blue outsole i think the color combination is definitely fire on this jordan one mid it really just depends on what it looks like in sticking hand. with the air jordan one mid we have another one dropping may 25th for a retail price of 115 bucks white black and gym red is the color scheme i feel like there's some gray in there too as well let me know what you guys think about this color scheme overall as you can see it has the gray base with black overlays and red accents on the swoosh the wings logo as well as the tongue you have the white midsole and a black rubber outsole of the mids you've seen so far where does this one rank next air jordan mid is coming in the teal color scheme dropping later this year for a retail price of 125 bucks sky j french blue ozone blue cell is a color scheme as you can see it has the cell base with the french blue overlays and ozone blue detailing i like this color scheme let me know what you guys think about the last jordan mid i want to talk about is the air jordan one mid panda colorway dropping later this year for a retail price of 120 bucks i figure they think anytime you put black and white on a shoe it's gonna go so they're giving it to us in a mid colorway white base with the black details let me know if you guys are a fan of the Panda Jordan 1 Mid or should they just be done with this? Next up, we have the Haritos Nike SB Dunk Low dropping May 4th for a retail price of $130. This Haritos Nike SB Dunk Low is definitely one of a kind. Phantom Safety Orange and Manlachette is definitely the color scheme. Let me know if you guys are excited about this shoe. Have a lightly textured off-white leather upper as the base. It has the bold green swooshes and tan tongues following suit with the Haritos brand on the lateral ankle tongue and insole along with the heel the white midsole has that orange stitching which really makes it pop i'm a fan of this shoe i'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like in hand another cool hidden detail about this shoe if you take off the topper layer you'll have an orange toe box to really make the shoe pop so all the detailing on the overlays if you take that top layer off you have an orange base underneath that for the overlays i really think that's going to make this shoe look even better let me know if you guys are going after this one in the comments below next up we have a nike air dunk low that appears with airbrush swooshes dropping during the spring of 2023 for a retail price of 110 bucks this nike dunk low comes in summit white industrial blue black and white this is a pretty cool color scheme i like the details of it give me your thoughts about this dunk low and do you see yourself grabbing a pair white base with black and industrial blue 
overlays, white midsole, black rubber outsole. This looks like a sleek colorway. That airbrush frill looks pretty cool in pictures. I wanna see what it looks like in hand and what the quality of these are, but give me your thoughts and opinions of this dunk low in the comments. Next up, we have official images of the Air Jordan 6 Toro Bravo released in June 24th for a retail price of 200 bucks. Of course, this is inspired by the Air Jordan 5 2009 Raging Bull Pack. This shoe, of course, is a part of Jordan's Summer 23 lineup. That's why it's releasing in June. This comes in black and varsity red as a color scheme. It features the all red suede upper with black appearing on the tongues, heel tabs, and midsole. Then, of course, my favorite part of the shoe is the translucent outsole. To complete it, comes with special packaging, full family sizing, full family sizing. And let me know if this is something that you will be adding to your collection. I know I will. So we have a new release date for the Jordan 3 Lucky Green. We got an official release date for the LeBron Zooms and the all purple suede. We got the Haritos, Dunk Lows, the KD15 What The, the Jordan 1 Spideyverse. A lot of good things to look forward to in the next few weeks. If you guys want to see what's coming up with retros, check out this video. If you guys want to see what's going on with some basketball shoes, go ahead and check out this video. I'll see you there.